I think confidence for an actor is the most important thing they have. I'm not talking about having a swelled head. I'm not talking about thinking you're better than anybody else. I'm talking about that innate confidence inside that says, when the chips are down, I can do this. And there's been a part of me, a very tiny part, mind you, but a part of me that's had that since I was five years old only because I knew that this was the only arena in which I had any touching point. I didn't have it in life. I was five. People were doing things to me. I don't mean molesting me. What is it mean. about our profession that a lot of people come to it who didn't never felt they were successful in that other outside world? They were always the person on the sideline or the marginalized person or they were a very different person. And so many people who have been very successful in the arts were on the outside in so-called real life yeah. and found their real lives in the art form. Yes, yes. What's that about? I have no idea, but it's, I guess it's cleaving to some kind of world that you, within which you can feel safe. And of course the very dichotomy of that is that as an artist, you have to feel unsafe or you can't do anything. But I guess we've put ourselves inside a place where we feel safe to be dangerous, safe to jump off a cliff, where I couldn't jump off a cliff in real life. I don't dive, I don't bungee jump, I don't jump out of airplanes, but I will, if, if I can, I will jump in a rehearsal or in a theater situation. But then again, those I've had to learn those things. It's like working with Hirsch. There, there are, they come in stages. There were times when I couldn't jump in a particular direction, and then eventually, somehow you learn to push that rock up that hill or open that door or whatever it mm -hmm. is, and you come back to it three, four, five years later, and you suddenly realize, oh yeah, I can, I can do that now. Now there are other things that I can't do, yeah. that I'll have to learn to. Confidence is such a tricky currency for us, yeah. because it is, there's a certainty at the core of what you're, you're describing, a certainty in Martha from very early on. She knew somehow this had to get out, and, and you hear that from novelists and from painters and from singers, this innate certainty, but in sometimes an unconfident exterior, yes. so to speak. Yes. There is that wonderful phrase that help me, nothing has more confidence than no talent. <laughs> and yeah. that kind of, yeah. whoa, because you know, I met very, very confident people around me, and I'm oh, like, yes. whoa, 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 I know. how come they're so confident? I, 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 I. I know, and I meet them and I think, yes, and one day they will be doing exactly what they want to do. I've seen people hired that have no talent whatsoever, but they're so confident that they got the job, and you think, how did they get that job? And then you realize, oh, I see, it's because they're so sure of themselves. Yeah. And there's something about that that people who hire people find attractive. I think it's because they think, well, if you're so sure of yourself, then you must be right.